Okay, Owen, we're in that uh, Fusarium test field that we started and talked about back in January. Uh, how do you first tra prep this field? Do you remember? We use um, chicken manure, right, from yeah. your neighbor. Mm -hmm. Chicken manure, and then, and then after that, put, uh, I guess, I put some fertilizer. Yeah? Right, so the How chicken manure that? is for Miki Lua, yep. another um, third generation Okinawan business that uses EM from time to time. Right. Yeah. So anyway, we prepped the soil. Now this field, you confirm you had a lot of fusarium in this field. That's why we use this field as our actual test. Right now, in, even in greenhouse researchers, university, they can't really do it because it doesn't replicate green, greenhouse testing to the field, right? So we're doing it directly to the field in an um, infested area. Okay, so we had that soil prep and then we put the um, seedling yeah. So when the seedling came out, I noticed that, you know, the fusarium didn't um, affect the seedling growth, it germinated. It doesn't usually affect seedling. It yeah, so you in, told me, yeah. It comes in about uh, closer to harvesting stages. Yeah. That's going to be about two, three, maybe about the fourth week. Right. So symptoms of yeah. fusarium. So you're kind of worried. It came out. Yeah, it came out, and then you're kind of worried if the plants were going to catch up and came back, right? Mm -hmm. So you're spraying the EM, how often? Well, once a week. At least once a week, yeah. yeah. And then um, you kind of went, went on a stronger ratio yeah, than usually recommended, ratio. yeah? 50 to 1 ratio. Yeah. So, but at that ratio, did you see any negative effects on the lettuce? Mm. Like burning, tip uh, burning, that kind of de detrimental? Yeah, it was pretty good in fact. Yeah. no problem. So from that stronger ratio, what remember did you notice? Did, remember now, at that time of the year, it was still on the cooler side. Yeah. So it yeah, wasn't, so wasn't that bad yet, but... I think from now to summer, that's when the struggle will begin. The journey will begin. That's good. But at least we had some positive results. Yeah, yeah. At least what do you think? At least we put in the EM. Hopefully, we knock it in there. So hopefully, we build up all this good bacteria, right? Hopefully, it can resist. I mean, it's not. Nothing's gonna kill for zero. No. Yeah. You have to suppress it. Yeah. yeah what it is, really said, like you told me, you can suppress it. So your own fighting chance. Yeah, and it, it brings up the plant's own immune system, oh, yeah. right? So even the other fields that we had, you know, pithium or some other disease, yeah. the plant was able to recover, right? And then, uh, you know, outlast the, the, the initial attack. Because you know what, now I noticed other farmers have been having problems too. Yeah. Now, when you spray once a week, you know, commercial users would think EM is expensive. What, what do you think? Is EM expensive mm. for what you're doing? No, I think it's really economical. Yeah, especially yeah. if you make the activated EM, right? All right, right. That's when I'm yeah? stretching it out. Exactly, yeah. one generation. Yeah. So even for commercial use, anybody can use that, right? right? If you use it uh, correctly. Like I said, you know, EM, you got to be constantly on it. You got to keep pumping it in. Yeah, it's a live product, right? Yeah. So you, you cannot think like the chemicals that you used right. to use before. And you're not going to see results right away. Yeah. It's, it's a prolonged thing. Yeah, because you figure your soil is dead and you've been using so many chemicals, you're losing all the beneficial microorganisms, right? But I'm sure with that cover crop and then you add the microorganisms like EM, we'll probably even get better, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I believe in that. I think so. We got it on the right path. It's just not, not only the EM. I think EM with the, the cover crop yeah. synergistically affect. That's exactly. So you got to put organic material. Right. So like I said, like this field, how are they but still growing? You know, it's not dying back. I mean, you got to plow them in now. Don't wait till it gets all dried up you know, to really um, harness the power and put back that organic material, not after it's already dried, so right. the microbes can break it down, yeah? Oh, yeah? Okay, very good. So, looking forward, this is already May, going to summer, so uh, hopefully we're ahead of the game because you worked so hard on putting yeah. EM this right way, this ahead. This the journey begins Correct. right now. <laughs>